ஹலோ மை கேட்ஸ் ஓல்லா வார்ம்லி வெல்கம் டு அப்பை ஐ சிட்டி பந்திய டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ கிரேட் செவன் ஐ சிட்டி லெசன் ஃபைவ் ப்ரோக்ராம் டிவலப்மெண்ட் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த செகண்ட் வீடியோ ரிலேட்டட் டு திஸ் லெசன் இந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் டிகம்போஸ் இன் அ ப்ராப்ளம் so what is mean by decomposing then what are the advantages of decomposing and then we did some uh, exercises and also we did your workbook activity 5.1 right so today we have to start about use of flowchart to represent algorithm i think this these words it mean flow charts and algorithm are very familiar with you because in grade 6 you learned about algorithm and flow chart right so uh, in grade 7 you have to just memorize what we have what you, you learned in la- last uh, year it mean grade 6 so a method that includes all the steps of solving a problem in order is known as algorithm and flow chart is a graphical representation of algorithmic steps right so as i told you we are going to just memorize what we learn but i am going to uh, show you what you learned in grade 6 also right right algorithm a method that includes all the steps of solving a problem in order is known as algorithm a method that includes all the steps of solving a problem in order gataluwa piyavarem piyavara visandana vidiya anubilivilin liyenawa tapi kiyanawa algorithm ekak kiyala so this is a algorithm right no this is not a algorithm this is the steps for creating a fruit salad see step 1 finding various kind of fruits step 2 washing all the fruits well step 3 cutting fruits into a small pieces step 4 putting the pieces of fruits into a bowl step 5 adding sugar and mix step 6 serve the fruit salad in bowls yes when you write algorithm also you have to write it in a steps by steps but there is a little things you have to remember when you write algorithms it is important to write the steps sequentially in an algorithm sequentially mean anupiliveli so you have to write them steps by steps in order next important thing every algorithm must have a start and end when you write algorithm there should be always start and end it mean always your first step in algorithm should be a start then the last step of algorithm is a end right see this is the algorithm to find the area of the rectangle so in algorithm there should be a start and end right so this is the first step so your first step also should be a start then this is a last step your last step also should be a end then within the start and the end you can write your inputs output process right so area of the rectangle so to find the area of the rectangle what are the inputs we need get the area of to get the area of the rectangle we need the length and the width so step 2 get the length of the rectangle is step 3 get the width of the rectangle so those are inputs right then after finding inputs what we have to do we have to do some action or process so step 4 area equal length multiplied by width this is the process then step 5 after process after processing you can get the output our output is is get the area of the rectangle right so this is the way we are going to write algorithm always there should be a start so first step should be a start the last step should be end within then start and end steps you can write your 
steps in order right then now we are going to convert your algorithm into a flowchart right a flowchart is a graphical representation of algorithmic steps now you are going to convert your algorithm into a flowchart by using some symbols symbols right let's so previously we learned about how to make a algorithm to, f to make a fruit salad right now in my screen you can see a flow chart related to making a fruit salad it means we converted that algorithm into flow chart for that we use some symbols let's learn what are those symbols right so i am quickly teaching you because you already know those things i am just summarizing right so let's learn them quickly right okay don't worry if you need to know these things go to my playlist api I city pandia so i uh, now i will ping a, a card right so by using that card you can go to that playlist go to grade 6 ict lessons and lesson 5 in lesson 5 video you can find these things right so don't worry okay so uh, this is the oval shape some are using the uh, circle shape also so this is used to indicate start and the end you can see some examples right then this is the rhombus shape we use this rhombus shape to indicate both inputs and outputs right so adding sugar entering stored marks serving fruit salads likewise then this is the rectangle shape putta used to show an action or a process so uh, within the rectangle shape we include what we do what are our actions right this is the decision making when you uh, but we didn't use this symbol in grade 6 and you have to use this symbol in grade 7 because now you are big students now so uh, we have to use this symbol so we use this symbol for decision making it means uh, there's example is the first number is greater than second number if your answer is yes, you have to follow another process. If your answer is no, you have to follow another method, another process. However, uh, when you write some uh, algorithm or when we write some flowchart, there should be a one end, right? Here we have, we are taking some decisions. However, there should be a one end, right? When we discuss this lesson further, I will teach you that right uh, so this is the last symbol it is used to indicate direction data flow direction we use these arrows to indicate data flow direction right so by using these things these symbols we can convert our algorithm into flowchart so let's see this is the flowchart to make food salad right yes always there is a start and end so this is start this is end now we have to get the inputs right here this is our input getting various kind of fruits and those are our process because they are indicated within a rectangle shape right so those are process and finally our output so the prepared food set that's it that is our output right so wash fruits well cut fruits into small pieces put the food pieces into a bowl add sugar and mix those are processes after finishing the process we have our output our output is serve the food salad then finally end now you can see a flow chart to make to find the area of the rectangle you can remember we previously learned the algorithm and you can see it in my screen too so start this is the start right then get the area of the rectangle get the width of the rectangle those are inputs inputs indicate within a rect 
a rhombus shape. So those are inputs, right? Then after we collect all the inputs, we can go for the process. Our process is area equal length multiplied by width. Then after we finish our process, we have our output. Our output is find the area, get the area, right? So finally we have to end our algorithm and our flowchart with the end so within an oval shape or a circle shape we can indicate the end so this is all about in, uh, algorithm and flowchart right uh, this is your grade 6 knowledge and now we are going to learn them deeply in grade 7 right uh, your next uh, Part. Subtopic is your next subtopic is control structures, right? In grade 7, you have to learn about control structures. So, in grade 7, this is how we memorize your previous knowledge. These are the symbols we used to indicate. You used to create flowcharts and by using these symbols, we can make our flowchart. And next, you have to learn about control structures. There are three control structures, so we have to learn them. So, let's learn about control structures in another video. So, if this video is useful for you, please comment me and please share this video with your school friends. And let's meet with another video. Until then, goodbye all of you.